two gentlemen find themselves at cross purposes. When two objects collide, there is always damage. you, Holmes. Have you? I've barely noticed your absence. Then again, I'm knee-deep in the single most important case of my career. Like a good Sherlock Holmes tale, you are wondering where it's all going to wind up, and you're pleasantly surprised when you find out. I see your web of conspiracy has expanded. First and foremost, this time we have Numi Rapaz, who's a gypsy fortune teller. Good evening. She is the linchpin of unraveling this very complex case. Why are we playing this game? Your next client is here to kill you. It picks up where it left off. His dear fellow Watson has moved on. I'm getting married. What are we up against here? The most formidable criminal mind in Europe. Professor James Moriarty. What? I agree, it's not my best disguise. I wanted to give more of what we gave you last time, but at the same time, give you something that you hadn't seen. You wanted it to be more exciting. No pressure. More thrilling than the first. Make it count! I'm on my honeymoon! It's really got a good sense of fun. Is there something different about you? It's got a good heart to it. It's probably the closest Conan Doyle, Holmes versus Moriarty story that's been depicted yet. Just follow my lead. Oh, Sherlock, don't be late for dinner. I've never been late in my life.